Howdy everyone, it's me Grace and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be making some Amanita mushroom incense holders. Many of you really liked my last mushroom inspired craft tutorial and I'm happy that there's lots of fellow mushroom enthusiasts out there. I wanted to create some incense holders that were for both standard size incense sticks and for the larger citronella size incense sticks. I use the citronella ones outside on my deck a lot because even though it's November, in Texas, we still have mosquitoes, so they've been really handy. I hope you can use this tutorial to create something that you love, but if you prefer to purchase one of these incense holders instead of making one, they are available on my website now. Now let's get to crafting. I got some polymer clay from my local craft store and pressed it into a circle shape using my fingers. Then I curled up the edges so the base of the incense burner would look like an upside down mushroom. With a separate piece of clay, I made a cylinder shape that will be the mushroom stem. I'm using my fingers and a silicone sculpting tool to apply the stem to the middle of the mushroom. To create the gills, I'm using the same silicone tool to press in the gill shapes around the stem. And finally, I'm using an incense stick to make a hole in the middle of the stem so it can hold the incense stick upright. And that's it for the sculpt. Now I can make the other ones. This whole process was really delightful. Every time I use polymer clay, I love it more and more. It makes me curious to know what it would be like to work with ceramic clay and a kiln. Maybe I'll have to try that out in the future. But for now, this is really fun. After my little mushrooms were done, I baked them at 275 degrees for 20 minutes. And now that they're cool, it's time to paint them. I'm going with this bright Amanita mushroom red for the caps. It took a couple of coats of this acrylic paint to get full coverage. Once the caps were dry, I painted the gills and stems a dark brown undercoat. This will help the gills stand out once the top coat is applied. Once the undercoat was dry, I brushed on a lighter cream color. This lighter color on top of the undercoat gives the mushrooms a more organic feel. 
Then I went back with some brown colors and applied little spots and touched up the gills where I felt like more color was needed. While the undersides of the mushrooms were drying, I applied some classic Amanita spots to the mushroom caps. Now that the paint is dry, I can coat them in some UV resin. I coated the gills and stems first, and then cured them in a UV light and with natural sunlight until they were all dry. If you're using UV resin, make sure you're using proper protective gear and working in a well-ventilated room away from any animals. I found that setting them outside for a day helped get rid of any surface tackiness and ensured the resin was completely cured. And with that, these incense holders are all done. I tested them out and they worked out wonderfully. Not only did they work, but they turned out really cute too. I hope you all enjoyed the video this week. And if you're interested, I hope you'll check out my store to get your own mushroom incense holder. This week's makers of the week include Maverick6666 on Instagram, who made this ring wraith costume. How delightfully creepy. Dustin Woods has been crafting like crazy and shared this amazing blaster he made. Idle Plants on Instagram showed me her lovely D&D character costume she created. I adore all the handcrafted accessories too. Thank you all so much for taking the time to show me what you've created. Seeing what you create makes my day. And until next time, bye y'all.